Okay, I've, I've got it set at uh, six degrees. Might end up being four, might end up being five. We'll see how it goes as we're closing in on these two diameter, this diameter and that mate, that diameter of this here up here at the end. If this gets a little smaller, that's fine. Uh, it's just for looks. It, it's going to be somewhere in there. Uh, it depends on you know the length and your diameters here. So I didn't calculate, or I'm not going to spec out a certain angle. Uh, that's uh, not necessary. So we're going to start at six. It's easier to make it shallower uh, as we go and make it steeper. So. So I'm almost down to this diameter here, the small diameter. So it needs to flatten out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and I still have room here. So I'm gonna take it over, uh, probably closer to four degrees. When I measured it on the computer, it should be around, should be closer to four anyway. So we'll, we'll go over there, four and a half or so. So we're just gonna go in a couple more thousands.
So we're going to So what I'm going to do here now, is I'm going to pull, I'm going to put the center back in and I'm going to polish that up. I'm going to polish this up. Then I'm going to come in and mark out where I need to put make that little nub. Uh, now that little nub, what it does is it goes in the middle of the roll pin. Now, I mean, these are just to get the roll pin going enough where you can take her to a regular pin punch. You know, sometimes they're right there on the surface or if they're above the surface, even uh, roll pins are kind of hard to get going. So that little nub is to get it centered on your roll pin and uh, get, the, get the pin started in your hole and then take a regular pin punch and knock it through your hole. These are, if you do a lot of roll pins, uh, I think they're kind of handy. Okay, got this polished up. And I went and looked at drawings and, and did a little more playing with the drawing. So this this straight part doesn't have to be really very long. And uh, I decided to make it only three quarters of an inch. Uh, I want to keep that overall length of four inches. And I want that pin part to be a quarter of an inch. So this is going to be one inch, 150 thousandths. And that's where I'm at now. And I'm just going to mark that right there. Now I'm going to go a quarter of an inch for the where the nub's going to be. I got a dial indicator on here. So that's right there. Okay. That's why we're making these test ones. I can come up with, uh, you know, good proportionality, and you know, making making it look right. You know, uh, making uh, the aesthetics right and things like that. It, that's why I'm making these uh, test ones. Yeah, trying to keep the material length, you know, good, uh, so we're not wasting materials and stuff. So. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this little nub. Now, the little nub is going to be 130 thousandths in diameter. So uh, we're going to. So I'm probably going to turn this whole part down. This whole part down to 130 thousandths, or just a bigger area than just what I marked there. Take about 108 thousandths off the of total here. Do a little bit of time, light cuts, ten thousandths, five thousandths, until I'm there. I'm gonna stop a little shy of my mark so I can square that shoulder up. Last cut.
So we're just a little over. We're 131 and 4. So that's good. So I can polish it up a little bit. And uh, I'm going to leave it a little big. So uh, in case uh, we have to uh, do a little grind on it or something just in case. So that's, uh, that'll be fine. I'm going to kind of turn here. So I want this shoulder to be square. So I'm going to... Uh, turn the tool to do that. And I had to change tools so I can get the angle and get in there. Uh, I need to leave that center in there. This is a uh, very fragile, so uh, to do this. <laughs> Okay, we're going to uh, do some polishing up on that. And... Okay, I'm just doing some checking here. I got it polished. And so, uh, let's see here. We got, we were shooting for 240 there. So, that's pretty good. Uh, 240 and 4 tenths. And we were shooting for 130 here, even though I wanted to leave it a little big. But I think we got a little closer to 130. So, 130 and 3 tenths. So, that's pretty good. It's going to be good. Uh, it's roll pins. And then this, this is I made this uh, for clearances. I uh, measured a bunch of roll pins and uh, with pin gauges and stuff to uh, come up with uh, dimensions for that nub and dimensions for the uh, shaft here, because you you only have a little bit to catch, but you want to catch as much as you can. Uh, punching that out. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this out. I'm just going to I'm going to just cut that off with a bandsaw. And then uh, uh, we'll just uh, clean it and then just uh, clean that end up with maybe a file or something. All right, I just cleaned up the end there with the tool, and now I'm going to round it to a little bit of a bull, to a bull, a bull nose. I'm just going to. So you want it to slip into your roll pin nice and easy. So that looks, that will look just beautiful there, huh? Anyway, so now we're going to uh, put in our two little grooves. We need it in there. Hopefully I can get, uh, should be able to get in there. And this is, you know, this, I, you know, this is more of an approximation type of thing on this. But, you know, line up your tool at the end. Come over a hundred and go in, go in so you're below the neural. And it's about twenty thousand. There's only 10. It wasn't very much. Uh, 
Uh, it's a little more than that. I think we're going to call it 15,000. Yep. And come over another 100. Turn around and do the same on the other end. And this, 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 yeah, it's a little bigger tool, but. You know what? I'm only going in 10,000 really. So we're going to call it 10,000. Uh, no, no, I'm going to take that back. 15,000. Yep. That's what we're going to call it. 15,000. Finish punch. Roll pin punch. This is a quarter inch roll pin kind of punch. And uh, I'm going to cut a flat end though. So that's next. I forgot to set the camera up. Uh, I just laid it in here on top of a parallel device to do this flat. And I took off 15 thousandths depth of cut on the flat. And that was just, just perfect. Uh, let me uh, show you on the end there. You don't want to touch the machining here or here. I mean, it could be close within a few thousandths, but you don't want it to touch. That way we have a nice wide enough spot here to maybe engrave uh, the size. And we have, uh, we're thinking of a, uh, uh, maybe uh, something about what's in your box uh, type of thing or something. Uh, so, so we have plenty of room there to do some engraving, hopefully. There's the finished punch. We're going to pack them up, send them to Stan. Need to come out. These are going to be very, very nice. I don't even have a set of these punches. Of course, I don't have a lot of punches, but I'm going to have to make me a set of these. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, this is a, that's a nice, quick little build.